I would say the key, the key to getting your book picked. First of all, I would recommend that anyone that is looking to write a book to explore both avenues because there's pros and cons of both. Um, I went through a traditional publisher. I'm glad that I did uh, because I'm not in the business of writing books. They are. So I wrote my book, sent them the manuscript. They did all the editing and formatting that had to be done. I think that's that's a part that would have just driven me up a wall. Um, you know, mind you, it's something that you can figure out, but you know, it would have just, I know that that would have been a roadblock that I would be like, oh man, you know, this is too much work, you know, forget about it. Or it would have been expensive to hire someone to do that. So, um, you know, I would say the key is put together a proposal with an outline of every single chapter, chapter title, description of each chapter, along with maybe like the first chapter and then also make sure that your proposal. So like publishers, what they, what they really are is they become a business partner. And that publisher is going to want to see what your plan is to move units. So this is where it's like, well, I've got these speaking engagements lined up or I work with these clients and I can probably get them to buy, you know, 500 copies. You know, this is what I have for an email list. Like you, you kind of have to do a, an audit, if you will, or an inventory of your own marketing channels, how you're going to market, because that's what the publisher is looking for. Oftentimes, they want to they want to guarantee that you're going to be able to sell X number of copies of books. That's really what it comes down to, because they're making an investment on their end to really acquire your book, and then you know they're applying resources on their end to 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 help you with editing, the marketing of it, distribution, etc. So again, you know, it's very much a business partnership relationship with your with your publisher. And a lot of folks don't realize that they they just you know think that there's like a novelty aspect in having, you know, a traditional publisher work with you. So um, I would say really take some time to, to work on what that proposal looks like before you shop your book around. Um, and then just keep in mind that, you know, the two avenues that you can go is. Obviously, you can self-publish, but I would recommend that you hire a really good copy editor to do um, all the like back-end work. Um, and then it's off to the races, man, and it's selling. But you know, writing a book, I think, is the easiest part. If you like to write, if you don't like to write, it's it's difficult. But if you like to write, um, break it up into weekends. You know, I took about there's 12 chapters in my book, so I wrote a week, uh, a chapter a weekend for 12 weeks, and I locked myself in my office, and it was just me and my thoughts you know, every weekend for 12 weeks. And I did that consistently until I was done with my manuscript. Um, and that's why I advise people do now is you need some time just to yourself. Um, gather all your thoughts. Each chapter before I would start, I would just do like an outline. So here are all the things I'm going to cover. Boom, 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 boom. And then it's, it's like literally fill in, the, fill in the blanks where, you know, you're writing pieces here and there. And then, you know, you're kind of stitching your 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 paragraphs or your thoughts together 